Okay, this is a really quick guide to mind mapping or the mapping of your mind. What you might think about when you think of mind mapping is something along the lines of this. So you're just dumping all your thoughts on the page You've used lots of lines, links, topics, subjects, and then later on you might group them and link them a little bit more. Okay, this is very wordy and it doesn't fit with how your brain likes to think about things. So, the main principles of mind mapping are lots of colour, um, lots of images, that's flask, a big a house and a flower. So they're just basic, really, really simple images. Um, the more simple the image is, the more likely you are to remember it. So you might like to use symbols or something instead. Um, perhaps a sun for something um, hot if you're looking at geography. Um, you should aim for the mind map to look like a tree so that you've got main branches coming off it and then little twigs or smaller branches coming off that. Now what you can see with these lines is that they aren't an arrow and they don't have an end to them, so they're flowing. You can have links off each one and you can keep going for as large as your pages really. Um, so lots of flowing lines, no arrows or points, lots of colours and lots of images where possible. You should use single words or phrases and make it very simple. And these words or phrases can be written along the lines. So we've got one word there. Okay, so you would write along the lines and it would be very simple. Okay, so if we look at The Kite Runner again, um, which is a novel that I've been studying, and around that we're going to look at the context relating to the novel. Okay. So in difference to the brainstorm idea that we looked at before, or the spider diagram as you might know it, a mind map begins with an image in the centre of your page. Okay, so there we've got a kite, if you can tell what that is. Um, and that's an image, okay? So instead of words, we've just got a really simple image and I know straight away when I look at this sheet what it's relating to. Okay, so we're going to have our main branches coming off this. Okay, so really these should be done in colour. Alright, so we're going to have main branches coming off at all angles. Okay, so I've drawn three to get me started. You can then draw later branches. Okay, so along this one, we're going to have that it. Um, okay, so we're going to have key dates. Okay, and then off there, I can group together all my key dates. Now, the main thing with Afghanistan is sort of fear. Um, that's what's caused um, a lot of war and trouble. So, um, if we think of key dates, we've got okay probably the most recent so off here I'm going to do a smaller branch and we're going to start writing my key dates so 2001 was the most recent with America and that's because of 9-11 okay so very quickly there we've got a date 2001 America and 9-11 off that so straight away it's a really good thing to revise one because it's dead straightforward it does take quite a lot of time to gather all the information that you're going to want on it in terms of a revision resource, but you could create it as you go along. Um, so 1979, we had a Russian-led invasion. Um, so we've got one off there. We've got one a little bit earlier, which is 1839. Um, that was the Britain. Okay. Now the fear came from, mainly to begin with, we had Russia and Britain, so I'm going to write them on the same ones, however Britain were in India, and either both um, Russia and Britain feared the advance of the other through Afghanistan. What the Afghans feared were outsiders coming in.
and quite famously um, they would attack anyone who did come into their country that they didn't want there okay um, and people would expect to leave and expect to win but they wouldn't okay so that's the beginning of a mind map we've got a main image in the beginning we've got things grouped together lots of branches and I could branch even further out of this um, what we haven't got yet are some images I struggle with these but we'll have a bit of a scared face here so then straight away once this is populated with lots of things my images will help me locate the information that I need okay now images or not it's up to you um, for me images work less well because um, I'm not great at drawing um, your different branches ideally would be in different colours so everything would be multicoloured here's an example really of what a professional one looks like so this is to do with time management so she's grouped lots of different things together we've got loads of images lots of colour and it's really really attractive to the eye so it's a great revision tool something like this does take a lot of time it does take quite a lot of planning in order to group it correctly and set it out perfectly however something like this is a little bit quicker okay it's less time intensive but it will be just as useful because of the way it's laid out it follows how your brain works in terms of making links anyway okay so we're putting it on the page in the same way that your brain works okay so this is ideally what you're aiming for if you're that way creative however it's just that the main ideas are very visual lots of color lots of pictures flowing lines and words along the lines okay and lots of grouping together of things if you need some more information these sites are great so we've got www.studygs.net forward slash mapping this is a really good study skills site in general and um, this has a really good video about mind mapping although some of what he says does cross over into spider diagrams um, but this site overall is really really useful okay we've got two sites here that are some online software to creating mind maps so if you're not very good with a piece of paper and a pen then you can now do them online so we've got this one here, um, bubble, B-U-B-B-L dot U-S. This is a really, really quick, fast online tool. You don't need to log in to begin with. Um, and you can just click and type, click and type all over the place. This is slightly more like a spider diagram, but it's just a really, really good planning or revision tool. Um, what we've also got is something a little bit more advanced, and you can choose different styles, different images, different shapes. And this is www.spicynodes, S-P-I-C-Y, nodes, N-O-D-E-S, dot org, forward slash index, dot H-T-M-L. Um, you have to sign up for this tool, but this is really valuable. Um, it's much more advanced than Bubble Us, and it's kind of coloured, lots of images, lots of symbols. Okay, so those are some sites you can use and that was a really quick guide to mind mapping the mapping of your mind